Hi everyone, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Mrs. R. Cynthia, Assistant Professor, Department of Food Processing and Preservation Technology, Faculty of Engineering, Aminash Lingam University, Coimbatore. Today we are going to discuss about the module Food Editors, its a role in preservation. First, Introduction. The pursuit of happiness through the enjoyment of food is a centuries old human endeavor. Taste, texture, freshness and eye appeal are major contributors to such enjoyment which made possible in a modern lifestyle through the use of highly specialized ingredient known as food additives. Food additives offered, food additives offered as the convenience and enjoyment of a wide variety of appetizing, nutritious, fresh and palatable foods. The quantities in foods are small yet the impact is great. Without additives, we would be unfortunately lacking in the abundant and varied foods that we enjoy today. Objectives To identify the reason why food additives are used, to understand the different sources of food additives, to understand the different roles and functions of food additives in food. First, let us see about the history of food additive. The use of food additive is not a modern day invention. The practice probably started when man first discovered that fire would cook and thereby preserve his meat. Later, he realized that the addition of salt would preserve without cooking. In ancient times, cloves were placed in hams to inhibit the growth of bacteria. At the 20th century progressed, the public's demand for foods of high quality and convenience increased and could only be met by reasonable priced packaged food. It is a result of the consumer demand that food additives have found their present place in our food supply. Technology has been able to meet demands that today we think of as a imperative variability, accessibility, freshness, palatability, uniformly quantities that simply did not exist hundreds of years ago for even the richest but are available for all today in the nearest supermarket. Next, the definition. Food additives may be defined as non-nutritive substances added intentionally to foods generally in small quantities to improve its appearance, flavor, texture or storage properties. The legal meaning of the term food additives differs significantly from country to country. USA Federal Food Drug and Cosmetic Act approved on June 25, 1936 is currently amended. A food additives is a substance or a mixture of substance other than a basic foodstuff which is present in a food as a result of any aspect of production, processing, storage or packaging. Then functions of food additives. Food additives are that some are used to color the foods, others to bleach them, some add flavor to foods, others revolve flavors, some make foods firmer, others soften them, some keep foods dry, others keep it moist, some thicken the foods, others keep them from thickening, some produce foams, others prevent them. Some make them food acidic, others make alkaline, still others suspend the particles. Some are oxidizing agent, others are reducing agent. Some hasten the chemical changes, others retard them. Sometimes one food additive has more than one function. Next we will see about the classification of additives. There are two types of classification, one is direct additives, another one is indirect additive. The direct additive. This is otherwise called as intentional additive. Food additives are those that are added to a food for a specific purpose in that food. For example, xanthan gum, it is used in salad dressings, chocolate milks, bakery fillings, puddings and other foods to add the texture. Indirect additives, they are those that become part of the food in trace amounts due to its packaging, storage or other handling. Examples include radioactive fallout, chemicals used in agricultural production and accidental contaminants during food processing. This is also known as unintentional additives. Next, e-codes. E-codes are codes sometimes found on food labels in the European Union. 
the coats indicates an ingredient which is some type of food additives the e indicates that is the european union approved food additive other countries have different food labeling laws the table shows different e coats number for the different group of food ingredients the use of food additives it maintains a nutritional quality enhancement and keeping quality by the use of antioxidant antimicrobial agent inert gases meat cures etc food additives are used for enhancement of attractiveness of foods by means of coloring and flavoring agents emulsifiers stabilizers thickeners clarifiers and bleaching agent the broad classes of international food additives are preservatives antioxidant surface active agents stabilizers and thickeners bleaching and maturing agents starch modifiers buffers acids alkalis food colors non nutritive sweeteners nutrient supplements flavoring agent and other food additives first preservatives these include chemical preservative against bacteria yeast and molds such as sodium benzoate used in soft drinks and acidic foods sodium and calcium propionate used in breads and cakes as a mold inhibitor sorbic acid used on cheese and compounds of chlorine used as a germicidal wash for fruits and vegetables the preservative also include fumigants such as ethylene oxide and ethyl formate used to control the microorganism on spices nuts and dried fruits preservative which control browning of fruits and vegetables caused by enzymes such as sulfur dioxide are also included all preservatives are not permitted in all food products these are some of the preservatives that are permitted in foods at different concentrations next antioxidant those include the compounds used to prevent oxidation of fats in any processed foods such as potato chips breakfast cereals salted nuts biscuits and crackers and many other fatty foods could not be stored for any length of time on supermarket shelves without developing rancidity the important antioxidant are bha bht propyl gallate tocopherols ascorbic acid sequestrants these are chelating agents they react with trace elements such as iron copper present in the foods and to remove them from solution the trace elements are active catalyst of oxidation and discoloration of food products these are such as edta polyphosphates and citric acid reacts with trace elements and inactivate them surface acting agent These include the emulsifiers used to stabilize oil in water and water in oil mixture gas in liquid mixtures and gas in solid mixtures in addition to emulsifiers of natural origin such as lecithin and emulsifiers that can be prepared synthetically such as mono and diglycerides and their derivatives and other agents include certain fatty acids and their derivatives and bile acids such as important in digestion surface active agent exert a variety of effects such as emulsifiers wetting agent solubilizers suspending agent and complex agents bleaching and maturing agent and starch modifiers freshly milled flour has a yellowish tint and sub optimum functional baking qualities both the color and baking properties improve slowly in normal stage these improvements can be obtained more rapidly and with better control through the use of certain oxidizing agent benzyl peroxide is an oxidizing agent which bleaches the yellow color oxides of nitrogen chlorine dioxide and other chlorine compounds both bleach the color and mature the flour oxidizing agents such as hydrogen peroxide are used to whiten the color of milk for certain kinds of cheese manufacture and to bleach borate and iodate oxidizing agents are also used to condition bread doughs for optimum baking performance starch modifiers include compounds such as sodium hypochlorite which oxidizes starches to a higher degree of water solubility The next one is flavoring agents and flavor enhancers. The flavoring agents include both natural and synthetic flavors. Some of the flavoring substances include spices, herbs, essential oils and plant derivatives. 
Typical of the synthetic flavor additive are benzaldehyde, ethyl butyrate, ethyl anthranilate and methyl salicylate. Currently, there are 1200 different flavoring materials used in foods due to the ever increasingly variety of different foods. The next one is flavor enhancer. These do not have flavor in themselves but intensify the flavor of other compounds present in foods. Monosodium glutamate is a commonly used flavor enhancer. Next, non nutritive dietary sweeteners. The well known substance is saccharin. It is permitted as a sweetener in food preparations and soft drinks for diabetic subjects. In 1972, FDA USA recommended that the daily intake of saccharin by an adult should not exceed by 1 gram. Nutritive supplements. Principal among these are the vitamins and minerals added as supplements and enrichment mixtures to a number of products. Major examples are vitamin D added to milk, iron and calcium added to cereal products, iodine to salt, vitamin A to margarine. Cheeses are made from bleached milks. Cheeses made from bleached milks, dietary infant formulas and vitamin C to fruit juices and fruit flavored desserts. Other food additives are Clarifying agents like bentonite, gelatin, synthetic resins are used to remove haziness as sediments and oxidative retiration products in fruit juices, beers and wines. Enzymes are added to bring out desirable changes. Renin for producing curd and cheeses, pepain for tenderizing meat and pectinase for clarifying beverages. Firming agent it's like aluminium sulfates and calcium salts are used to keep the tissues of fruits and vegetables crisp. Then freezing agents like liquid nitrogen and dichlorofluoromethane, which are extremely volatile and rapidly evaporate at ordinary temperatures, are used to chill out the foods. The solvents like alcohol, propylene glycol, and glycerin are used to dissolve suspender flavors, colors, and many other ingredients. The packing gases such as inert gases are added to packets of infant foods to prevent oxidative and many other changes. Solvents of various types are used in manufactured foods and drinks. Dichloromethane and trichloroethylene which have been used for the decaffeination of coffee and tea. These were first introduced into food supplies in 1973. They are regulated not as additives but as a food ingredient or as a novel food. The next is food colors. Colors are added to thousands of food items to improve their appearance. These are derived from natural materials such as anato, caramel, carotene and saffron are the best example of food colors. Colors of synthetic origin which include coal tar dyes have been examined for their safety. Synthetic colors generally excel in coloring power, color uniformity, color stability and it has a lower cost. Carbonated beverages, candies, gelatin, desserts and bakery goods are among items colored with certified coal tar dyes. Food colors also include inorganic materials such as iron oxide to give redness and titanium dioxide to intensify the whiteness. In India, 12 natural pigments, the extracts of synthetic equivalent such as beta carotene, beta apo 8 carotenol, methyl ester of beta apo 8 carotenic acid, ethyl ester of beta apo 8 carotenic acid, cantaxanthin, chlorophylls, riboflavin, caramel, anato, saffron, and curcumin are permitted colors. Table shows the permitted food colors either of natural or synthetic food colors and artificial synthetic dyes used in foods. Next one is stabilizer and thickeners. These include gum, gelatin, starches, dextrin, protein derivatives and other additives that stabilize and thicken foods by combining with water to add viscosity and to form gels. Gravies, cake toppings, chocolate, milk drink, jellies, puddings and salad dressings are among the many foods that contain stabilizers. Thickeners such as gum arabic, carboxymethyl cellulose, carrageen, pectin, amylose, hydrolyzed vegetable protein are commonly used in food products. The permitted limit of food additives 
the estimated level of consumption of the food product by the consumers for which the additive was proposed. Finding out minimum levels which would produce significant deviation from the physiological behavior. Legal control over the use of food additives. This can be accomplished only when a list of permitted additives exist with specific safe levels and toxic levels. Stringent labeling on foods that is declaring a usage of additives in foods and their quantities. Employing trained food inspectors, food control laboratories and reliable analytical methods are of utmost importance for regulation and control over usage of food additives. Gravies, cake toppings, chocolate, milk drinks, jellies, puddings and salad dressings are among the many foods that contain stabilizers. The table shows the permitted additives and its tolerance to be used in foods. The table shows the acceptable daily intake of some food additives and its function in foods. Next one is safety of food additive. Safety in using an additive is an important consideration. It is impossible to establish absolute proof of the non-toxicity of a specified use of an additive for all human beings under all conditions. It is critically designed animal test of the physiological, pharmacological and biochemical behavior of a proposed additive which can provide a reasonable basis for evaluating the safety use of food additive at a specified level of intake. It is generally felt that the presence of harmful impurities in food additives can be excluded most effectively by the establishment of specifications of purity. It is agreed that the amount of unauthorized additive used in the food should be the minimum necessary to produce the desired effect. The limit should be established with due attention to the following factors. The estimated level of consumption of the food or the foods for which the additive is proposed. Minimal levels which in animal studies produced significant deviation from normal physiological behavior. An additive margin of safety to reduce the minimum any hazard to health in all groups of consumers. For all people, legal control over the use of food additives is essential. This is the addition best accomplished through the use of permitted list which effectively prevents the addition of any new substance to food until an adequate basis for judgment of their freedom from health hazard has been established. As a matter of principle, consumers should be informed about the presence of additives in their food label declaration has been found to be the most effective method of achieving this result. Regulations governing the control of food additives are useless unless the laws can be enforced. Trained food inspectors, food control laboratories and reliable analytical methods are of utmost importance. Disadvantages of food additives First one is benzoic acid. In the presence of vitamin C in foods and drinks can produce small amount of carcinogen benzene in the food or drink. Second one is sodium benzoate. The same carcinogenic concerns exist for foods and drinks contain sodium benzoate and vitamin C through the similar production of the carcinogen benzene. Next one is sodium nitrite and sodium nitrate. These are preservatives also used to color and flavor meat products. However, they have been linked to various type of diseases. Sodium nitrate on test with mice, it was found that significantly increase the DNA damage in the stomach due to the formation of free radicals. The free radicals have been associated with cancer, tumors of the lungs could be caused by ingestion of sodium nitrate. Sodium nitrate studies in conducted in rats supplemented with sodium nitrate showed that sodium nitrate results in testicular toxicity with a decreased sperm count and mortality. Next BHT and BHT. It is suspected of cancerous toxicity. Tests showed that BHA administered to rats, mice and golden siren hamsters can cause cancer. More specifically, papillomas and squamous cell carcinomas of the stomach. Trans fat. It increases the concentration of the bad low density lipoprotein cholesterol and reduces the concentration of good high density lipoprotein cholesterol. 
It increases the risk of coronary artery disease, heart disease, stroke and other cardiovascular diseases and is estimated that 30,000 premature deaths per year in the United States are linked to the consumption of trans fats, possibly have a negative effect on the human fetus and on newborns and an increase in colon cancer risk in adults. Next is MSG. It is associated with a burning sensation of the back of the neck, forearms and chest. Facial pressures are thinness, chest pain, headache, nausea, upper body tingling, weakness, palpitation, numbness in the back of the neck, arms and back and drowsiness. Aspartame In the trials of aspartame fed rats, it was shown that aspartame caused an extremely high occurrence of brain tumors compared to no brain tumors found in the controls. Aspartam has mutagenic potential and may explain the recent increase in incidence and degree of malignancy of brain tumors in humans. Aspartam may also cause neurochemical changes that could have functional or behavioral consequences, particularly in people with certain underlying diseases. Next one is food coloring. In recent study of pediatric practices in North Carolina, 15% of our children were found to have behavioral disorders with ADHD as the most frequent diagnosis. Next one is potassium bromate. It is known as a well-established rodent kidney carcinogen to which its oxidizing activity is throughout to be a main factor in its mechanism of action. Potassium bromate also shows some genotoxicity and is associated with induction of gene mutations and chromosome abrasions in mouse lymphoma cells, both potentially leading to cancer. Next one is calcium propionate. In trials, it was found that calcium propionate and other preservatives can cause irritability, restlessness, inattention and sleep disturbance in some children if consumed daily. If processed food minimize their concentration, this would reduce adverse reaction. Calcium propionate can be toxic to, to, to certain species and it can actually be used as a pesticide. Some of the adverse effects of food additives are in digestive disorders such as diarrhea and stomach pain, in nervous disorders such as insomnia and irritability, and respiratory problems such as asthma, sinusitis and skin problems such as itching, rashes and swelling. Let us summarize this whole module. Uh, much has happened to and in the food industry and the market for food since the great focus on additives in the 1980s. Additive has been used for many years to preserve, flavor blend, thicken and food colors which have played an important role in reducing serious nutritional deficiencies among consumers. Additives help assure the availability of wholesome, appetizing and affordable foods that meet the consumer demands from season to season. Thank you.